Ever since you kissed me this morning, it's, it's affected me. So I kissed you. Wait a second. Did this actually happen? Nope. What are you yapping on about now? Oh, that's right. This is Bay or Nay, the series where we see which Nick couples would have been the perfect match or a complete disaster. No, that'll never work. This time on Bay or Nay, we're cuffing Sam and Beck. You ready? Let's do it, boy. In order to see if Sam and Beck would make a great couple, we've broken this down into a few buckets. First, let's see what Sam and Beck are looking for in a partner. I just think I like dating a girl who, you know, fights back. You? I mean, a girl who's got strong opinions, you know, and a big mouth. Why? Because it's not easy. Easy's boring. A girl who fights back, has strong opinions, and a big mouth? Um, I can think of someone perfect for Beck. Can't you? Mm. Oh, what do they put in this lasagna to make it so incredible? Oh. I don't want to start an argument, but you might want to finish chewing, you know, before you talk. What is this, pick on puck at night? I said I don't want to start an argument. Well, you've done it! Sam clearly fits the bill for Beck. But who would be Sam's perfect match? Nah, a guy like that one want to hang out with me. Why not? He makes chicken noises and bothers other children. He's perfect for you. Chicken noises and bothering children? Beck probably hasn't made many chicken noises, but we all know that Sam loves to eat. So could this next clip mean something bigger? You want me to make you some dinner? <laughs> yeah. Will you make me a chicken? I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist here, but there has to be a connection, one that implies Sam and Beck were made for each other. And not to mention, Beck has absolutely bothered a child. Sing about dinosaurs! No! Now listen, I realize Sam being interested in Beck could very well be a stretch, but let's compare their personalities to see how they'd fare as a couple. Let's do it. Beck's personality is pretty straightforward. He's soft-spoken, kind, and patient. And best of all, He's unscarable. I don't think I've ever felt true terror. Hmm. Then I'll have to work on that. So you're not going to be in here long, are you? Because we've <laughs> oh, Well, did I terrify you? No, not really. Beck being unscarable is perfect for handling some of Sam's terrifying tendencies. <laughs> So while Sam is a lot more aggressive, sarcastic, and outspoken than Beck, we already heard earlier that that's what Beck likes in a woman. She's got a point. Not to mention, Sam is eerily similar to someone Beck already loves. Which brings us to our final point. The partner comparisons are impeccable. I've missed you. So what are you going to do about it? Beck is known for his relationship with Jade. And while they've had their fair share of differences, Jade and Beck's bond was undoubtedly strong. You love me again. Who said I stopped? Aww. Here's where this gets fun. Who does Jade remind you of? Awesome french fries today. Can I have a fry? Check out this application I downloaded on my pair phone. It makes all the little... That's right, Sam. Clearly, Beck is used to dating a woman very similar to Sam. I mean, Sam and Jade were actually pretty close friends. So you two are really getting along, huh? Yeah, like we found out that we both laugh when children cry. <laughs> How can you not? I know. Oh, and we both hate people. Oh, I hate him more. I don't know. <laughs> now, as for Sam's past relationships, we know her strongest love interest was Freddie. <laughs> Remember the time I pushed you in front of that bike messenger and he knocked you down, <laughs> and your head hit that fire hydrant? Yes. <laughs> well, afterwards, when you were laying there, moaning, blood coming out your ear. Yeah? I don't know. You looked kind of cute. So how do Freddie and Beck compare? Well, Freddie is often described as a nerd, even by Sam. My phone has a faster processor than this thing. OK, save the nerd talk for your AV club buddies and just find the pie recipe. While Beck is usually described as handsome and popular. Why can't my son be handsome like you? But both Freddie and Beck are kind-hearted and willing to help their friends by any means necessary. Popping the hood. 
time to pop the hood? I'll do it. Thank you. You gave up that cold trip just to get rid of Missy. I was protecting iCarly. No, you care about Sam. <sighs> well, she was really upset. And you said Sam wasn't your friend. Yeah, whatever. Beck and Freddie might not be exactly the same, but it'd be wrong to say they're completely opposite. Besides, Beck has already proven to us that Sam could very well be his perfect match. Hey! You get out! What's going on? I'm gonna leave this room and you two talk. Why'd you come here? You. Ever since you kissed me this morning, it's, it's affected me. So I kissed you. So. So maybe I do like you a little bit. I like you. It doesn't matter because there's no way I'd ever go out with you or be your little girlfriend. And dang, this place makes good quesadillas. Can I come over to your house tonight? You really mean that? Yeah. Will you make me a chicken? Okay. Let's get out of here. As a completely objective voice on this completely objective channel, written by a completely objective human. We know better than to decide for ourselves if this couple is bay material or not. Wait, do people still say bay? Ooh, uh, no one. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Uh, well, regardless, we want to hear from you. Head down to the comments and let us know if you think Sam and Beck would make a great couple or not. I mean, the question's simple. Bay or nay?